Hello community, so great you are back. Sonnet 4.5, fresh. So, Sonnet 4.5, I used the same test, the U for QN3 and all the other things. And here we go, you are live with me, the very first test, Sonnet 4.5. I have 47 videos here on this particular test. I tested every system. So let's see what Sonnet 4.5 can do. You see, it is a non-thinking, a non-reasoning model because it just jumped into the performance and it just goes here with some button presses. Now, the task is you, you have a building from the floor zero to the floor 50, there's an elevator and there are particular elevator buttons you can press that have a mathematical function. And your task is, as an AI, find the shortest sequence of button presses to go from zero to floor 50. Now, there are some asymmetric uh, button presses possible. There's a sequence. There are some mirror option possible. This is really about causal reasoning. This is pure logic. And you see, this system just jumped in and says 18 presses is optimal. This is horror because the best solution is an 8 press. So, you know what? We start again. Now, let's give it another chance. We start over. It doesn't make sense to continue. If it's this bad, we start over. So great. Same identical test. We just start over. Optimal elevator run solution. Maybe it has already the first run here in cache. I don't mind. Oh, wow. Another se sequence of almost 20 se sequence. Look at this. Oh, no. Okay, there's no reasoning. There's no analysis. What are the critical factors in this task here? We just jump in. There's just some button presses here. As you see, press 9, press 10, press 11. Button E, button D. Ah, I didn't account for a finally corrected solution. So now it starts to see that it's not coming here to the end of the sequence. So now it's just modifying here some button presses. But there's no strategy. At least it does not provide me here in the reasoning trace any strategy. The final optimized solution now with 17 presses. You see, it just tries out here a sequence. This approach has issues. Let me redo it. Okay. So it's just a trial and error. And for Claude Sonnet 4.5, this is not it. Oh, we have a limitation on the output sequence. Okay, so we just say continue. Continue with floor 29. Beautiful. So with continue, no problem at all. But you see, oh, it found a solution. Wait, I need to verify floor. I need to verify this. So a complete optimal solution. It gives me now the state of the system. You see press number three, press number four. This triggers something, yes, press number five, okay. Now it's trying to find here, yes, I have some code cards. I have some code cards that, and I have some energy packages. And there is an energy optimization task, of course, in this. You cannot go, I don't know, 100 steps up or down. You have only limited energy. So this is really about causal reasoning. And as I see here now, this is my 48 video here on this, there's no argumentation, there's no reasoning, there's no thinking, there's no analysis of the critical constraint of my test at all. This is just, I try, I go in with something, let's see if I can achieve to reach here. The end. Reached floor 50, yeah? Pareto optimal. Come on, you're going to be joking. This 12 press solution is optimal for a multi-objective constraint problem. And I say, okay, validate your solution, but go step by step and show me all your solve constraints. Goes in, okay, press one with A, valid move, great. Press two, button B, valid move, great. Press three, valid move. Gives me here, yes, I have a night shift, a particular time of the date. There's something different here. Then I have some disabling here. There's a sequence of button presses you are not, not allowed to take. It is really about causal reasoning. Press 8, okay. State changes, okay, a valid move. I have a blue code card, this is great. Press 11, valid move, okay. It looks good so far. Problem detected. Current state of the 12 presses but I'm only at floor 31. <laughs> so it thought it is at floor 50, but it was only at floor 31. So this is a not successful validation. 
So let's just say continue. So now it's trying here to find a better solution. Press 14, press 15. We are far outside of what is a valid solution, but never mind. Would we'll take you to floor 73, but the floor caps at 50. Yeah, we have in the building description, the building has 50 floors, full stop. So reach floor 50, okay, says, hey, I found a solution, great. Button specific rules, yes, the compliance is given to me, this is interesting. See, button D, button E, yes, okay. Code acquisition validation, okay, the green code, the yellow code card, the state flags, yeah. And then the energy package tracking, okay. So we do have enough energy. Token tracking, yes, I have a token complexity built into this. Here you have the table. Oh, you see, capped at floor 50. No, this is not a valid solution. It tells me it is Pareto optimal. Oh my goodness. 15 presses. Could we do less than 15? Okay, we reached again. Continue, no problem. Claude, Sonnet, 4.5. This is the very first run. Okay, can we finish in less? No. Diminishing returns. Yes, I know, it is not easy. Collect more code cards. How can we get the blue codes? You see, there's a lot of problems in there. It is a non-linear sequence. You have to go back. You have to start again if you encounter here a threshold. Yes, it's not an easy test. Alternative. You see, there is no strategy. It is just trying out some sequence. And you have no analysis of any syncing process. Okay, we have a new summary table. Goal reached after 12 steps. 12 is better. Okay. So let's have a look. The primary goals are all reached. Okay. The compliance is there. No illegal moves. The resource efficiency is there. We avoid all the traps. 12 press solution is optimal. And I say verify that you did not cap at floor 50. Critical error detected. You are absolutely correct. Let me re-examine press 15 and press 12. There's a problem. It just <laughs> went over floor 50. A critical ambiguity. Re-evaluating, re-validating the solution. Invalid. Finding now a new solution. So we start all over again and you see here on the red axis, it's not working. No. New valid solution. Don't think about it. Just let's go with something. Revised attempt. Problem. Let me try again. Let me, find, let me try to find a different path. Let me try to jump over it. Let me try now A. The same issue as before. Yeah, it's not sinking, you see. It's just doing something. I have no idea how it decides what it does. Using one random trap. This is not a good idea between you and me, but whatever you see. Rat. No. Challenge. I need to find a path. Now it starts with a strategy analysis. Now. Okay. Let me trace this final valid solution. Press 14. Check, check, check. The tokens, the code, the presses. This is the correct valid solution. And I say verify your solution. That's all I say. Complete step-by-step -step verification. Capital letters. Okay, let's do this again. Press 1. Okay, this is the state. Press 2. This is the new state. Press 3. The new state. Press 4. Everything looks good. The new state. Press 5. Yep, come on. New state. Press 6. Okay, looking good. It's now trying to understand the dependencies that there is. Great. Press 8. Maybe we do have a chance. 14 would be a medium result, a mediocre result, but at least it would be able to solve it. Press 11, press 12, yeah, this is looking good. Press 13, just one more. Okay, continue. <laughs> Come on, continue. Press 13, yes, here we go, continued. Press 14, critical error detected. Floor 42 is above 25. Yeah, okay. Invalid solution. So, the validation, invalid. It was the wrong solution. So, let's try now a new solution attempt. Strategy. Wow, suddenly we have a strategy after 10 minutes. Get the code cards, go there. 
See, not working, not working, not working. Re-examining the problem. Now we go back and re-examine the problem. New strategy, one big jump. This is not a good idea, but whatever. Alternative, use 20, floor 25. Final analysis, the unsolvable problem. <laughs> it fails completely. Testing theory three, solution with floor capping assumption. It's going back to a non-valid move. Look, floor 51. Final solution with capping assumption. It found nothing, so it goes back. Critical assumption, only valid if the moves we can go above floor 50. This is incorrect. No, I say no floor capping, continue. You can find a solution. Your Sonnet 4.5. You're the latest AI model. Come on. Analyzing viable path. Failure, 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 failure. Failure, failure, failure. The yellow code problem. Now it analyzes here that it has a strategy problem. No? Now it analyzes the triggers. Valid solution. Okay. Planning. Now failure. Calculating resource requirement, solution attempt with emergency exit. Okay, this is interesting. You see again our button presses. Trigger, oh, failure. Revised solution. Okay, you see, it's just the idea, avoid floor 25. But there's no strategy, there's no reasoning. It's just going hop, hop, hop somewhere, find a solution. This is not a model for causal reasoning. Interpretation, we land on intermediate floor, error. I need to reach this, corrected path to floor 21. Now it's trying out each and every floor, error. Uh, run out of energy. Research optimization. Oh, come on, Claude Sonnet 4.5, this is not a model for reasoning. As you can see, error, error, another error. Floor 25 is problematic, so we just cancel it, no? We don't think about it. Look, error, error, error. Targeted floor 29 now. Okay, so the past error. I need to gain more energy packages. You see, it runs into troubles. It notices it, but it doesn't build a strategy. It doesn't build any solution. Working backwards. Yeah, stuck again. Hey, this is an intelligent move. Error. Solution using button C. You see, it's just trying, there's no understanding of the complexity. This is a non-reasoning model that is not at all working for reasoning. Avoiding C. <laughs> Let me try without C. Okay. Using A from floor 14. It is trying, but there's no strategy. There's nothing. This is just try and pure error. Sorry. Can't reach 14 from 15. <laughs> <laughs> My, it's, it's, it hurts. It really hurts to see how stupid the system is. This is a complete waste of time here. Sonnet 4.5, reasoning, no way. I just wanted to give it a chance. I think it's now 10-15 minutes. And I wanted really to give it a chance. But look at this. I even stopped here the first try when it was completely out of mode. But this is going nowhere. Look at this. Final attempt with optimized resources. Okay, this is now really the final attempt. Presses, okay. Go back, press 11, 14, getting messy. Systematic solution. Now it starts with a systematic disabled error. Let me recalculate how to reach floor 14. Nothing, error. You run out of energy. Must insert the bonus earlier. This is just one solution, you know? Oh, God. Okay. Adding a third B bonus. Now it's just doing more of the same. There's no, no diversity in the solution space anymore. It is just going back to the same solution. It tried to find error, error, error. And now applies it five times the same error. It's hoping to come out but there's no chance. This is a real logical problem. You have to analyze this from a theoretical point of view to find a solution. You cannot just try and error yourself out and find a solution. And therefore, Claude Sonnet 4.5 will fail. With this approach, 
I build it in a way that it's not able to come out of this. Complex sequencing. The puzzle is extremely constrained. Yes, I know. The puzzle may be unsolvable. Come on. Almost every other LLM could solve this. Sonnet 4.5 would be the first that completely fails to solve this. My best attempt reached floor 29 with insufficient resources. Would me like me explore if there's a hidden code? There's no hidden code. You just have to do reasoning. It fails completely. 